I'm Drew Vincent, and I love Skagger. This is my dog, Rusty. He's a blind Queensland red healer, and he walks these trails like he's got eyes. He's amazing. I love Skagway. Wednesday, it was 80 some degrees, 4th of July. Hotter than holy get out. Today, it's like 52, rainy, crappy, bipolar Alaska weather. I love Skagway. Fourth of July in Skagway, 80 degrees, done with work. I'm gonna go see if I can find me some dead animal slathered in some kind of sauce, maybe burned to perfection. Ooh, that shade feels good. Have you ever in your time doing this, like somebody was too gross to do their hair? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> like I it, mean, it's come close, but you know. Did you have to wear gloves? No. What about a hazmat suit? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just casually be like, how about we do a shampoo first? I always make sure I shower before I come over here. <laughs> That's very considerate. <laughs> You're definitely in the minority. Oh, right on. Well, <laughs> well it's Skagway after all. Yeah. No, I just I just worked and went to work out in the gym. Can you cut my hair now? <laughs> oh yeah. That's a, that's my favorite. But I'm sorry, I'm really sweaty. It's like, okay, it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> There's a shower in the back, it's 12 bucks, go ahead. Like the pet wash. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> well, we appreciate you here in Sky. We know there's a whole bunch of people that just rave about you, and I'm so glad you have your own little shop Aww, here. Thank you. I'm shop. so happy I do too. Little shop of hairs. <laughs> I love it. It's pretty awesome. It's a great place to live, a great place to have a shop. Do you love Skyway? I do. Why do you love Skyway? Um, I love Skyway because it's kind of like a hideaway from the rest of the world most of the year. <laughs> and I don't really have to worry about traffic or crime or anything like that that used to bother me about living in a city. Right on. I know in my tour bus sometime I'll be, you know, coming into town and there'll be little, little kids on bikes and they'll, people ask, where's their parents? Yeah. And I'll say, they're probably working. Yeah. You know, people just, it's just unheard of to see a little kid, you know. I know. There's something to be said for that. Oh yeah. There's little kids running their free range. <laughs> <laughs> free range. Free range children, that's a good thing. Free range children. Now what does your husband do? He's the lunch lady <laughs> at school. <laughs> I had to ask you because it's my favorite thing you say. The lunch lady. Yeah, he's the lunch lady. And those kids eat pretty darn good at that school. Oh yeah, well he is a chef, but in this scenario he's a lunch lady. But he designs it all his own menu and makes most things from scratch. Yeah, they have salmon, they have halibut, they get like rockfish tacos. They had, there was like, Rock they get fish like crab tacos. cake sandwiches, Dungeness crab risotto, yeah, salmon, wow. salmon Olympia. I don't even know what salmon. that is. <laughs> what is Salmon Olympia? Salmon Olympia, it's like, um, it's got like bread, a little bit of breading on it and it's like this lemon, um, like a lemon aioli almost with like a little bit of crumbly breading. This is what the children are eating at school. Yeah. That's fantastic. It's really good. Wow. You should try it. Salmon Olympia. Salmon Olympia. Or how about Olympia. Anything Olympia is good. I was going to make a crack about the town of Olympia, Washington, but there <laughs> might be somebody from Olympia that might get offended, so I won't. <laughs> Well, I've been lying on my tours for years now, like all good tour guides do. <laughs> it's not a lie, because it, it is on the Bowling Dam sometimes. Right. Well, like but not all the time. Well, like George Costanza told Jerry Seinfeld, <laughs> you know, Jerry, it's not a lie if you truly believe it. It's true. Kind of. I mean, it's not. Yeah. Then you're just relaying wrong information, but you're not lying. <laughs> I want you for my attorney. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get a. Uh, let's get a product. Hey. Car rental. Have you ever found anything um, um, bizarre in cars yet? Not yet, but I know it's coming. So you haven't found any drugs? No, no guns? No guns. No body parts? Not yet. I'll look for it any day now. Well, Skipper is one of the owners of Broadway Bites, so we're gonna go and interview you there when you're in your in your in your zone. But perfect. Affordable car rental. Thank you. Is it affordable? Is it less than what they're paying over there? At <laughs> Very. <laughs> Very. Hey, do you warn people about, like, when you get, uh, this, is, this is serious too, do you ever warn people about not getting out of their cars and feeding bears? Do you ever? Do Every time I tell Every time I tell the last thing I say is, that please don't get out when you see people stop because there's bears there. So don't jump out to take pictures of the bear. And we're seeing people do that all the time. The car, yeah. Well, they'll, they'll approach a bear yeah. because they're idiots. Yeah. Well, thank you for doing that as a service to this town, right? behind you Disney I love Disney say it like you mean it I love Disney now when Disney first thank you big boss we are first courting Disney to bring their cruise ships up here about six years ago Disney had some requirements for their tours 
One of them was, and I quote, please tone down the brothel talk. <laughs> so you know what tour guides do, right? Brothel. Brothel. Brothel, brothel, brothel. Brothel, brothel. Brothel, brothel. Brothel, brothel, brothel. Brothel, brothel. brothel. brothel, brothel. He likes Jaeger too. This guy has got the toughest job in Skagway. He takes people down a mountain on bicycles. I just gotta drive the bus. Thanks, Paul. Thanks for the country. Thanks, Wes. Alright. You love Skagway? Oh, I do love Skagway. Why do you love Skagway? Jeez. I mean, uh, you're on the edge of the wilderness. You know, we are like right at the very edge of where uh, the end of the world is. We can see it. Robin Williams said, Skagway is northern exposure as written by Leo Tolstoy. I've never heard that. Yep. Now you're yep. wearing a kilt. Yes. Talk to me about the kilt. This is a sport kilt. Uh, made in California. I'm a sport kilt ambassador. So it's got velcro in the front. Wow. It's got elastic in the back. It's got pockets in the sides. It's machine washable. It looks like wool, but you can actually wash it. Do they pay you to do these kind of endorsements? I got this kilt for them out of it. I, I got this kilt as an endorsement. Is there any prize. cash endorsements involved? No, I wish there were. When is the wedding? Uh, August 26th. And where's that wedding going to be? Right now. We don't know yet. <laughs> Skagway? Oh, Skagway. Skagway! We love Skagway! We don't know where yet. Is it a church wedding or is it a heathen wedding? Oh, it's a heathen, heathen wedding. All right. Congratulations. <laughs> Good luck to you guys. <laughs> There's no child labor laws in Skagway, right? No. Right? <laughs>why do you love skagway i like its size you like its size it's size size matters <laughs> <laughs> just um the small town flair i enjoy small town flair what else do you like about skagway um community of people yes and friendliness yeah uh, the fact that you know, people know each other and care about you what about the money that money's also pretty decent <laughs> <laughs>